Okay, so here is our new thermometer, and we'll do an unboxing and testing of this. And uh, it's a pretty handy device. I'm going to use it for some great experiments. Okay. Okay, it looks like our package has finally arrived. Let's just see what's in here. Oh, okay. It is our thermometer. I wanted to use this for testing on... Um, I'm doing some induction heating stuff. Let's see, where's my induction heater? I guess it's someplace else. And uh, I just wanted to test this to see what kind of temperatures I'm getting, because I thought this might be more accurate than some of the other methods I'm using to measure the temperature. Okay, should be interesting. Let's take a look at this, see if we need batteries or if it needs to be charged or what. Okay, I guess I was just fiddling with this, and it looks like there's some little indentations here, and if you pull out, there it looks like it takes two AA batteries. Okay. So I'll have to get some a AA batteries in there and try to test this out, see how it works. Okay, so here we have a soldering iron. Mm, I think it's getting pretty hot. It's a 35 watt one. And we have an ice cube over here. So soldering iron, ice cube, and here is our meter thing, and let's just see, okay, it's saying what, 188, I get the laser pointer, see I'm pointing the laser where you want it to see what the heat is, so up at the tip it's saying like 222, I guess if you hold the trigger down it scans until it gets the highest temperature 222 okay well, let's take a look at the ice cube over here we have an ice cube it says minus five I don't know if you can see that in the camera minus five minus six degrees okay Oh, that's very cool, huh? Let's get the light over here a little bit more. Okay, so here's our IR camera and our ice cube. Uh, zero. I'll bring it back over here. 170, 190, 201. Ah. Okay. 217. Okay, very cool, huh? Let's see. Okay. Minus 2 degrees. Okay, so ice cube and soldering iron. So I guess it looks like it's working about how I expect it to. Seems reasonable temperatures for those things. Okay. okay, so it appears that you can hit this button down here and change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. A lot of people like Fahrenheit, so I just switched it over to Fahrenheit. And let's take a look. So it says 0, minus 2, uh, 1, Okay, so the freezer is definitely kind of cold. And let's see the food. 156 degrees. That's kind of hot. Dog, 74 degrees. Birds. They don't seem to be like like the laser shining at them. 72 degrees. <laughs> that one doesn't mind. 71 degrees. Okay. This bird does not like the laser. 71 degrees.
actually. Oh, I wonder what the temperature of the heat lamp is. Ooh. 260, 270, 274, 284. That's pretty hot. 290. Okay. Wait, wait, there we go. 300 something, 330. Just hold the trigger down. 360. Oh, is it getting hotter? Wow, 350. There we go. Temperature of a heat lamp. Ouch, it's burning my hand. 400. Let me get one up to 400 for a second. There we go. Okay. Well, there's something else that you couldn't measure of. Uh, there's something else you couldn't measure with uh, any other means than a pyrometer. Okay, very interesting, huh? Use this uh, handy device to measure if uh, this car has been driven lately. If you want to check on your car. Tell if a car has been running. See the pavement's 80 degrees. And if we take a look at the exhaust pipe here. 140, 128, Stop. there, can you see that, I guess it's cooling down fairly quickly, 145, see that, okay, okay, we can use it to measure the temperature of our squirrel, He doesn't get away. Well, maybe not. Okay, so anyway, it seems to be a pretty handy device for measuring all sorts of things that you couldn't normally measure through normal means. It can measure very high temperatures, measure things at a distance. Um, it's not probably very accurate for, you know, if you want to measure cooking or something like that, you want to get the temperature right for your water, for your bread, or other things, see how hot your food is. Um, it's good for that. Um, <clears throat> does Fahrenheit and Celsius. It's probably not good for measuring your temperature because it's not that accurate at, at that type of level. But um, for other things, you want to put something in the in induction furnace, which I'm going to try to do later. Uh, probably be good for that. Anyway, uh, this is Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.